Yeah, just for your information, I got this engine going up a little bit of high idle, just because, uh, you know, the electrical output puts out a little more. But I just want to show you on the, uh, the gate, it's only running about 5 amps. See that? Uh, I can see that. Point to the upside down. running about five amps now look at the bubbles coming out of the bubbler I never got you know what this cap probably was always leaking a little bit and it leaked more and more I actually doubled up this uh, plastic contractor bag as a seal so now I tightened it down it's and I um, put the uh, Teflon tape on these two connectors so that you get all right Actually, what I'm going to do, when I'm going to get the Cosmoline, I'm going to go over this with Cosmoline in here. Even though I went over it with Chassis Saver, um, I'm going to get all in there with that co the black Cosmoline. That stuff is even paintable and weldable. But this is the point I'm making on this damn thing. And before I, uh, you know why I'm so hot on this shit? It's not just the gas mileage, but it means a, it's a lot of other implications this makes. But what I use is just 100% line. I didn't really, I didn't put any, I could put a hell of a lot more in it and get a lot more production, but I think, and distill the water, but I think it's okay, see? Because I'm hardly drawing any, I mean, I don't, I'm not even gonna have to get a bigger alternator for this shit. This is like nothing, it's five amps? Look what the hell it's pulling. It's doing, it's, it's nothing. But, uh, I'm gonna, um, this is why I'm hot on this subject, because, all the old cars, the biggest problem with the old cars is gas mileage and emissions. This damn thing on an old, simple carbureted car like this, with no computer, it actually will give you more gas mileage and it will lower emissions a lot, a lot. And um, it's like basically doesn't cost a damn thing. That's why I'm hot on this because I don't know if anybody's really been screwing around with this as much as they you know, these new cars, you gotta, well, that's another subject, because now they got the HHO, where you can split out only the hydrogen with a $50 or $40 add-on device, and only the hydrogen means you do not have to modify the O2 sensor, which is illegal to do anyway, so you can run it with new car computers. But the thing is, all these classic cars, I think this damn thing, well, might make those things get 25% better fuel efficiency. And that's a big jump. That's the worst thing about classic cars, man. They eat up gas. But they might even do better than that. I don't know. We're going to test this out real soon and uh, see if the mileage has, gets a lot better because I think just this cap, this is what was limiting my production. I'm not even going to put it up that high. I'm going to leave it at 5 amps. 5 amps you ain't doing nothing to your charging system. Nothing. I mean, that's nothing. I, that's, I mean, your headlights are 12 amps. I don't even know if that is 5 amps. Maybe it's 4 amps. I don't know. But you can see what's coming out of this thing. And you know how much this whole kit was? 165 bucks on eBay. All 316L stainless steel, quality built. I mean, I had to make the bracket that goes on the engine and stuff. I had to make the bracket for this. But all the, the relay, all the stuff was there. Because the only thing you got to watch is this cap. Even though it's got like a rubber grommet in there or something, it's just not sealing right. That was a little problem. So, this is going to, this might kick ass. We'll see what happens on the next test. I'm telling you, man, a lot of people think this is snake oil. It is not snake oil. But it's not going to run your car for free. But if you're getting, I don't know, on an old car, if you get a big unit, like this is a 16 plate, which is oversized for this engine, that's probably why it's got pretty good production, too. Um, but when I put it on that 350 Chevy, I'm going to get the 21 plate. And I'm going to see what the hell it does. I would love to get 20 miles to the gallon on the highway with that thing. I don't know about that, but if it does, Guess what? 
just put new cars out of business, all old cars are going to be restored again because this is when it, it lowers the emissions too. You think the big car company is going to do some shit like this? No, unless they make it complicated, put proprietary computer code in it, all that other stuff. I'll tell you, man, I think this shit is legit. And, you know, it wasn't that many years ago, back in 2008, everybody was making these things with mason jars. I mean, now you can get laser cut, 316L, professionally built, good gaskets, thick neoprene gaskets, uh, you know, the uh, dry shells, whatever, the whole kit, the less than you can freaking make the damn thing. I don't know, I don't know why people aren't doing this, man. I don't get it. And like I said, if you put an add-on device for about 40, 50 bucks, you don't even have to modify your computer on the new cars. I don't know. I know like some people don't like these automotive updates, but I know some people do. So, I'm telling you, man, I didn't realize something that simple. I probably wasn't getting full production the whole damn time. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to run it nice and light like that and see what kind of mileage I get. 